Doing good. Getting ready for Denver. Just watching some tape right now, getting ready for those boys. Um, looking back at last week, uh, I thought offensively, uh, we moved the ball, did some good things, uh, ran it well. Jalen was efficient throwing it. Um, overall, good performance, but the bottom line is we got to win the football game. We didn't get that done. So that's the goal this week, keep improving, getting better, and uh, go win this week. Shane, how do you factor Jordan Howard's production with uh, Miles Sanders' uh, timeline? considering that he's been up twice. Yeah, no, Jordan's playing good football right now. Obviously, when Miles come back, comes back, we'll cross that bridge when it gets there, but right now we're focused on Denver. That last drive of the first half, you went heavy 13 personnel. What do you like about 13 personnel from, from your personnel standpoint, and, and what do you like about it as a play caller? When well, I think sometimes when you're looking at defenses, I think defenses are getting a lot better. Uh, I think uh, in previous history some you know defenses play two or three calls when you go in 13 personnel but I think defenses are getting a lot better and mixing up their defensive calls but uh, it gives you balance obviously we ran the ball really well in that 13 personnel package and moved it down I think it was a 15 16 play drive uh, but it was efficient for us uh, and we'll keep looking at that going forward why is Quez the receiver on the 13 personnel? Uh, we, we mix that up that's week to week you never do. it could be Quez it could be Devonte. it could be Rager it could be anyone but, but is that mainly to occupy the, the safety? Um, like I said, that's week to week. It just it depends. That was the first week we saw Quez as more snaps than Devontae. Was there a reason for that? Uh, no, not necessarily. That was probably because of the 13 personnel stuff he was in. So that drive was more there. How did Tyree do from uh, the film study and what was kind of the thought of? Yeah, of, yeah. Uh, Tyree did a good job. Obviously, that was his first time getting out there and playing. Uh, he's a big body for us. Uh, we like his athletic ability. So we'll keep looking at him moving forward. You, look at the you drive, have Shane, at least uh, another week before you have to make a decision about, you know, with, with Miles coming back. We don't know when he's going to be back. Yeah, but yeah. You do have a lot of talented running backs with different skill sets. Uh, what does that give you having, you have four guys who can catch the ball, run the ball, block? Yeah, no doubt. When you got guys, all those guys can play football, and they're really good players. So obviously they're multiple. Uh, they can do different things for us. So we keep looking at that, and it's week to week with those guys and how we use them and stuff like that. So it's good. When you look at the drive chain that tied the game, Jalen was really effective on that. When you have a young quarterback who, who makes that type of drive in a key situation, what do you, what do you learn about that young quarterback? I mean, obviously, he, he's a good player. He's been in big moments, and that was a big moment, uh, going down there and obviously hitting that touchdown to Devontae. They are showing a blitz zero look, and he got us into a play and hit Devontae versus a blitz zero look, and it was a big-time play. It was a good drive We've by him. We've have the understanding of when he does have to kind of expose his body to a hit like he did on that one third yeah. down. Is that a conversation with you guys, or is that something that he just brings to the table on his own? Yeah, I mean, we, we do have those conversations, but he knows he's played enough football in those moments. When we got to go get it, he went and got it, and that was a heck of a play by him. I mean, that was a big-time play by him on third down. Well, you see more focus after the game on on two missed passes as opposed yeah. to the final drive. How do you reconcile the two between the way he played on that final drive and yeah, I think as a competitor, he's the ultimate competitor. And I think, obviously, you, you, you have all this good stuff. But as a competitor, when you're like, shoot, I could have hit those two. I mean, that's the human nature, right? Like, you look at those two plays that you could have hit. Um, and that's just his competitive nature. Um, but he played good football. For you, though, as, 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 as one who needs to coach him and evaluate him, are you more focused on, on – fourth quarter there or the first half no I think overall like I said he played really good football I mean those you're gonna have two or two or three plays a game probably that you want back and he wants those back we all want those back but you know what that's part of the game and you got to move forward and continue to grow and get better when you said he changed when you said he checked uh, when he saw the cover uh, zero uh, yeah blitz did he does he have a couple plays at the line did he change the play or did he just yeah yeah no he got he got to it he got to it and we threw that vertical route to Devonte. it's a good play by him I'm sorry, who'd you say? Uh, Kenny oh, Kenny Gainwell. Yeah, no, I mean, Kenny's improving every, every week. Obviously, he's a rookie. Um, he's, he's, he's getting better every week. Jamal's doing a heck of a job with those guys. And, all you know, the Boston right now is playing good. Jordan's playing good. And then Kenny, obviously, he scored a touchdown there, too. So all those guys, it's a committee. And those guys are working hard to get better and, and keep playing good. Look at Devontae's game on Sunday against the Chargers. What, what did he do better 
against the Chargers that maybe he wasn't doing in the previous couple of weeks? Uh, I don't know if he did anything better. I mean, obviously he made a lot more plays. I mean, he had two. He had explosive plays. I mean, he had you know the big chunk down the sidelines, and then right after that, he hit. We hit the deep crosser to him. And then we hit the big touchdown to him. Uh, those were three explosive plays right there that got him over 100 yards. But he's a heck of a football player, and he was drafted the way he, where he was for a reason. Uh, Howie obviously did a heck of a job seeing that in him, and uh, he's a good player. We're excited about him. He set up against uh, Fangio uh, yeah. quite a few times. What, what, what does his defense uh, do well, and, and what challenges do they bring? Well, they're very sound. Uh, he's been running his scheme for a long time. Uh, he gets those guys playing hard. Uh, if you look in the back end, uh, Simmons and Jackson, they're two veteran safeties. They've played together for a while. Uh, they're very physical. Simmons is a rangy guy. Uh, Jackson's a heavy hitter in the box. Uh, he fills the run really good. Um, and then up front, they're stout up front. Uh, they're playing good football on defense. Uh, it's going to be a heck of a challenge for us, but we're excited about it. It seems like with Devontae, he does a very good job of working back towards the ball. Yeah. Um, is that something that's innate? Have you guys kind of stressed that with him? And, and yeah. what, what does he do, do to make that? Uh, yeah, no, I think that? so. Anytime with his speed, his vertical speed, getting out of in, in and out of his breaks, um, that's something he does naturally too. But obviously it's coach. You know, Aaron Moorhead does a heck of a job with him uh, on a daily basis and the individual drills and then going through it over and over again. Uh, week in and week out in the meetings and then carrying over to the practice field and in the games. Shane, what did you where, there was a play where uh, Bosa was on the left side across from Jordan and he sort of comes free. Jordan doubles down on the other guy. Was that was he expecting help from behind him? Which which one was that? It, it, Jordan was lined up against Bosa and Jordan doubles down on uh, the guy with the left guard and Bosa comes three comes free with nobody in front of him to right to right to Jalen. Oh that one they were in blitz zero. That was blitz zero, so basically we had to gap it down. It, we were hot there, and so they brought the house, and Jalen made a miss. That's really that's all. That's what that was. What have you guys seen from Landon since he moved over to left guard? He's had a, uh, some a lot of work there now. Yeah, no, he's getting better every week. Uh, he's a physical football player, uh, big, powerful man inside, and he's continuing to improve every week. Stout does a heck of a job with him. Uh, so, but he's getting better every week. On those third downs, when do you want Jalen to run into the sticks, and, and when do you want him to? Uh, try to make a, a play with his arm. Well, I think with any, any any third down, you know, you're always trying to get it. You know, you're always trying to get it. So obviously, if the pocket's clean and he can make the throw, make the throw. And sometimes when he gets out and he scrambles, he's going to try to go get it. Uh, he's a physical football player. He's a competitor, and he's going to try to get that first down. Jalen's recognition of what was coming on that that touchdown throw to Devontae, What does that say about you know his his growth? Uh, he's he's growing every day. Like I said, he's continuing to improve. The last two weeks, he's played really good football, and uh, we got to keep him going in that direction. And uh, he keeps working, and the way he prepares every week, uh, it's showing up on game days. Do you have to make a, a cognizant effort? You guys have been having run the past couple weeks, game plan wise, when. You know, Devontae got some targets, Dallas, mm -hmm. but Quez and Jalen not as much. Do you have to be cognizant of, you know, keeping in the ear of the younger guys saying you'll get your opportunity? Yeah, I think, I, like I say every week, I, I think we, you know, we have plays up for guys every week. Obviously, you don't get them all called, but we got a whole bunch of talented receivers that we're trying to get the football to. And sometimes, you know, it might be Dallas might have 10 catches, and Devontae might have four catches, and then next week it might flip, you know, so it's week to week. Jalen's played well these past two weeks. The volume's obviously been lower for him. Do you think that's connected? Do you think he's, he's playing well? Is he's, he's not throwing as often? Um, not necessarily. I mean, does it help? Yeah, I mean, it does. But at the same time, I mean, he's a good player. He can handle a lot on his plate, and uh, he's continuing to improve. I mean, we're week, you know, nine weeks into this thing, and he's continuing to get better every week.